stock Microsoft stock over the last 12 months as I do my 12 month review did I expect it to do so well this year actually it was one of the few where I did expect it to do as well as it did the others really surprised me and I'll talk about those in future videos but with Microsoft what was happening with chat GPT really made it clear that there was a massive gap between the expectations that the market had for the company, which were just based on an incremental rise and then a small marginal gain on that uh, to allow for the AI side, and what was likely to happen. And remember, prices move up when expectations are exceeded. And it was quite clear that the market's expectations were below what was likely to happen, probably going to happen and therefore the price was likely to rise and that's why I ended up during the course of the last 12 months with Microsoft not just buying more of the stock but also having some two times leverage exchange traded funds in it and doing some CFD trades in the short term. Now with the CFD trades in Microsoft what I tend to do is buy into it in far larger position size because it's leveraged than I would over a 12 month period because it could fall 20% in 12 month period and that would be a margin call. Uh, but I'd hold it for a shorter period. So I'm almost trading that, uh, which is fine because I keep an eye on it like a hawk. And that really helped because I knew probabilistically there were far more likely to be up days than down days with Microsoft during the course of the year. And sometimes those happen. Like and follow for more and have a look at my Telegram channel and my YouTube channel to learn more about how I invest and how you could do that yourself. Thank you.